Hey YouTube, it's your girl Talisa K. Check, 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 checking in. <laughs> I don't know why the heck I love doing that to you guys. What's up, everybody? It's your girl Talisa K. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome, welcome. Hit that subscribe what button, hit the like button, comment, let your girl know how she's doing. If you received a word, if you received a word. Today, I just want to say I am on fire for Jesus. I am on fire for Jesus. Literally, I'm wearing this shirt. I'm on fire for Jesus. I love Almighty God. I love Jesus. And I just want to encourage you that if you get on fire for Jesus and if you come with everything in your being to just say, I love the Lord, everything that you do exhibits how much you love the Lord and love his son, Jesus I tell you that your life is going to change in a magnificent way. No magnificent way. No, it doesn't mean that all your troubles are going to go away. No, it doesn't mean that you're not going to go through some things and experience some hard times. But I can guarantee you that there's a test in the testimony, okay? <laughs> you can't triumph if you don't go through some trials, honey. God is so amazing. And I just want you to stay on fire. I don't care what happens. You have to find the good in everything. You have to find the good in everything. Even if you say, you know what? I'm not really happy right now. You just just, just be authentic and transparent with where you are. I don't really want to smile today. I don't feel good today. But I worship him. I worship him and I adore him. And, and open up your Bible. Let it fall on fresh word and say, Lord, whatever, whatever page this Bible falls on, I know it's going to be a word from you and it's going to be sent. It's going to resonate in my spirit because I don't really feel good. I don't really feel like praising you. I really don't feel like worshiping you. I just got fired today. My boss just went off on me. My, my relationship just ended. I just lost my best friend. I just lost my mother, my father. My, my kids acting a donkey. So you, you go into worship. Find a song in your heart. You really don't even need a song. When you're serious about your God and your Jesus, you don't need a song. <laughs> you don't even really need to open the Bible because if you got the scriptures on your heart, even if you just call out Jesus, say Jesus, he'll show up. The presence of the Lord will show up and it'll free you. It will help you. Just stay on fire for Jesus. I don't care what's going on in your life. Stay on fire for Jesus. If anybody that knows me, if they know your girl, Talisa K, even if you had a moment with me, if you had a second with me, if you talk to me for a minute, you know I'm talking about God and Jesus. I'm going to encourage you. That's what God put in my heart. I didn't know what I was called to do. I didn't know who I was called to be. I didn't know my purpose until I went through some serious, serious, dark times. So my ministry is to help heal and unite. My ministry is to exhort. My ministry is in mental illness and mental health. My ministry is to do great things for God's kingdom. And, and, and it's my will. It is his will to give him the glory. And before I leave this earth, I'm going to be empty with all the things that he told me to do. In my dreams, in the things that I see, that I know is of God. I'm going to conquer those things. I'm going for it. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous and I'm scared and I'm not even sure some of the stuff. Some of the things are so radical. Like, Lord, you're going to have me looking a fool. Who's going to believe this? But oh my God, I'd rather look like a fool than to just be a straight up failure and not follow what God has instructed me to do. I'm willing to go for being stupid and looking stupid to say, at least I know I heard you right. I heard you right. Because when you have the same recurring dreams and visions and insights, the devil ain't give you, especially if it's something to help people, the devil ain't going to give you nothing like that. That's coming from the almighty God. And it's not about money. It's about helping people. I've been through some serious, dark, hurtful places in my life. And to be where I am radiating in love and in light, and I'm excited, and I'm on fire for Jesus, can't nobody do that but God. Can't nobody do that. Can't nobody do that. So if I can say anything to you, no weapon formed against you shall prosper in the name of Jesus. God is supplying all your needs. Just look up and call on the blood of Jesus and blessings will come down. 
blessings will come down. I know that, that people think as soon as you get saved that your life is going to change and everything is going to be hunky-dory. No, Jesus don't want punk Christians, y'all. You're going to go through some stuff. Look what Jesus went through. You think we're not going to go through some things? We all are going through things. They say you even in a storm, you, you're preparing to get in a storm, or you're coming out of one. So it's always going to be something. But in the meantime, you just keep praising and worshiping God and you stay on fire for Jesus. Stay on fire for him. As they say, stay lit. Okay. Stay lit. Stay woke. Come on. Stay ready in the name of Jesus. So hallelujah. 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 I pray that whatever it is that you're going through, you just stay focused on the word of God. You surround yourself with some happy people. You put on a happy song. And hey, if you just don't feel like doing that, you just throw your hands up and walk through your house and say, come on, Lord. I'm a, I surrender. Die to self. Stay on fire for him. Love on him. And he'll have you loving yourself out there in a second. Okay? Get in the mirror and say, I am loved. I am beautiful. I am excited. I am motivated. I am valuable. I am significant. I am more than able. And I, I do all of my worshiping do, all day long just to keep it 100. I do. But at nighttime, I love to read and and, and let God's, all of that goodness just, just be saturated in me. So when I go to sleep, I'm sleeping so peaceful and so restful. And I wake up feeling like, wow, this is amazing. I have another day to do God's business. So if you're one of them people that, I'm not a morning person. Don't come talk to me to after 5 o'clock, after 9 o'clock. Eh, come on. Get out of that mode. Get out of that. It's not of God. You got to get changed. You got to shift that. And get on fire, get on fire, get on fire, get on fire. I can't make this up. I'm not doing this for YouTube. Anybody that knows me knows that this is how I am. And like I said, sometimes the joy, it just gets, it gets under some people's skin, but I don't care. I don't care because I love God. I love Jesus and I love who I am. I love that I had to go down to come back up so that I can see how ugly I was. So I can see how nasty I was. I could see how ungrateful in certain areas areas I was. And I was hurt. I was angry. I was bitter. I went through all these different things. And I, I just wasn't dealing with life properly. And now I'm I'm facing them battles head on. Come on. What you got, Cletus? <laughs> anyway, you know, hey, I just again I love on me. I love on me. I love me. And there's nothing you can do about it. And I love you too. So I just want to let you know, just you stay on fire for Jesus. You do what it is you need to do. Life is going to get hard. Oh, yes, it's going to get hard. And guess what? As long as you got God, Jesus, you got that word. And, you know, you just keep praising and worshiping and watch life change for you in a great way. Surround yourself with some amazing people. Find your church home. Get in a discipleship group. Get in a small group. Connect and network. And matter of fact, make yourself approachable. Make yourself approachable. Make yourself interesting, okay? I didn't know how to be a friend. I wasn't a great friend. I wasn't a great person in certain aspects of life, but I thought I was, okay? I, it, sometimes we play the blame game and we talk about other people or this person did that and this person did that or whatever. And it's like you can point the finger at everyone else, but then you don't take a look at yourself. Look deeper into who you are. Look in yourself, look internally, do the work on yourself so that you can be on fire for Jesus. The only way you're going to see this type of light is if you do the work on yourself and get deep down in them ugly places that we suppressed, okay? We suppress those things because we don't really want to go through the hurt. You break up with a with a woman or a man and then you know, you're on to the next person. Because you don't really want to go through the hurt. Yeah, you love that person. And it's okay. Love on that. Just just go through it. I loved you. And it ended. And it's okay. God got something better for you. And guess what, ladies? Guess what, men? Everybody is not meant to get married. That doesn't mean you can't be happy. That doesn't mean you can't be on fire and be lit. For Jesus, right? <laughs> it's okay. We're all born to die. One day we're all going to die. But we have to know how to still cope with life. Life is going to go on. When you get fired from that job, somebody else is going to replace you. Okay? Don't think that you're doing such a good job that you can't be replaced. Even if that person is not as good as you are. It doesn't matter. It's not about 
you. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's about him, the one who sent us, right? <laughs> so I'm getting out of here because I keep talking, talking, talking because I love you guys so much. And I just love God. I love Jesus. I love to talk about him. So I could just rant on and on and on. And I know that ain't cool because y'all don't come, come on this channel for that. But thank you so much for coming on my channel. I really appreciate you. I love you to life. I pray and hope that something sticks in your your mind and soul and just make you say, hmm, let me do the work on myself. I like her. I call, I'm call. i called to help heal and unite, and I just want to do something radical for God and give him glory each and every day. So if I just touch one life, I believe that that one life can light a candle for someone else. So I'm going to start the movement to be the light, and then you, you light somebody else. So we all can be lit, right? We all on fire for Jesus, okay? <laughs> all right, y'all. I'm getting crazy. I just came from worship and I'm like super turned up anyway. So I'm getting ready to get out of here. And I pray you guys have an amazing, amazing night. Get in your word. Stay on fire for Jesus. Repent. Ask God to forgive you. Whatever it is that you need to do so that you can have a smile on your face and just accept whatever is going on in life because better is yet to come. You have to know it. Love you guys. Thank you again for tuning in. God bless. Bye.